we're actually part of the Orthotics and Prosthetics Club and we figured we'd take one of our projects and we'd bring it over here to the First Step Challenge. We entered this competition because they have offer a lot of mentorship opportunities. They check up on you and they kind of show you how to take like a product and actually move it more to the market. Someone on our team actually suffered from a stroke a few years ago, so this kind of hit really close to home and we wanted to address this problem. A common issue that stroke patients have is opening and closing their hand for exercises. We did a little bit of investigation on like the market for devices and also talked with PTs in the area to figure out what they wanted to see in a product. There were three main things they wanted. They wanted something that was comfortable, they wanted something that the patient could put on independently without assistance, and they wanted a device that could help complete the motions for exercises. And so together we brainstormed the helping hand so it's sort of like a half glove device with intent that uh, patients can put it on finger by finger and then wrap it themselves. The battery is hooked up to the night and all wire and it's sending a current through and as the current sent through it heats up and that's what's causing the wire to go back to the shape that it was formed to which was the shape of a hand and then now since the wire is all heated up it's actually going to have a little bit more like tension so when I go to close my hand it's like a lot harder so it kind of works as like um, an extension and flexion exercise too. I'm an exercise science major and I see my role in this group as more of the communication side and the PT side because I want to possibly go into physical therapy. So I am very knowledgeable about the exercises involved in stroke rehabilitation, whereas we have some biomedical engineers that know specific consequences of a stroke and then we have mechanical engineers that know exactly how the technology works. We're actually talking with clients, with patients, with PTs to find out what they need instead of just making a solution and hoping that it helps others.